Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to walk through what split transactions are in QuickBooks. Um, I get this question a lot, and people get a little bit confused, and it's really just a term. Split transactions really just means breaking up a transaction between two different accounts in general. Okay, so I want to show you how to do that in QuickBooks. Okay, and there's two areas I want to show this uh, to you. Uh, the first one is when you enter a bill, okay? So if we go up to here and we say uh, vendors enter bills, or you can just go right here, let's say enter bills, and we pick a, just pick one here, Davis Business Associates. Let's say that it's, uh, let's say that this is um, office supplies, or let's say that Davis Business Associates is an office supply company, but we bought a computer and some office supplies, okay? Okay, so we're going to say that the total is $1,000, all right? And so down here, this is where you split, okay? So when you do it between two accounts or more, that is a split, okay? So we're going to say the first part of this was office supplies, and let's say that that was $150, all right? Well, now, because that's only $150, and you see the total right here, we have to get it to 1000 Okay, so the other part of this was, let's say, a fixed asset. Okay, let me go up here and find, let's see, furniture and equipment. We'll put it under there. We'll say it was 850. Okay, so there. Now we've got the total, 1,000, and now we have split the transaction between two. Now let's say that this, uh, this was only uh, 750. Okay. I'm tabbing over to these other columns, okay? And you'll see that it'll put the remaining balance here because you've got to get that total to what you put up here in the amount, okay? So we can split it between three accounts, okay? So let's say that this was also dues and subscriptions or something else, all right? So there, that is basically, when you're entering a bill, how you put in a split. This is a split transaction, all right? So if I save and close this, now, one other area that um, I think people get a little bit confused is within the check register. Okay, so if you have debit card transactions or like an ACH or an automatic draft that comes out of the account that needs to be split, how do you do that? Okay, because it's not a bill. You're not entering a bill and then paying it. It's uh, just a debit card transaction. So I'm clicking on check register. I'm going to go to the checking account check register. And you can see here I've got the one line. So uh, if yours looks like this and you want it to condense in a little bit, you can click one line. I like this. It's a little bit cleaner. I can read it a little bit easier. All right. So let's say that we had a, I'm going to say EFT for a debit card transaction. Okay. So the payee is going to be, uh, we'll say Davis Business Associates again. Well, let me choose a different one because it's pulling up my previous. Let's say City of East Bayshore. Okay, let me clear this and close. Okay, so let's say that we paid the City of East Bayshore, um, you know, $500. Okay, and it's for multiple items. All right, so we're going to pick our account. But what you can do, because it's multiple items and we need to split it, you can leave this blank for a second. We're going to put in the total. Okay. 500. And before you save this or record this, you can click on the splits button. Okay. And now you can say, okay, let's say that uh, union dues was 100. And let's say the rest of it was dues and subscriptions 400. We'll say that that's 300. Okay. And then let's say the rest of it was bank service charges, $100, okay? So then over here, if you need to clear this, you can clear it. Uh, you can recalculate it if for the totals, uh, and then or you can hit close. And you'll see here it says right in the register split, okay? So if I hit record, there we go. It's all split. All right, so that's basically how you're going to record split transactions. It's pretty straightforward, but it does cause some confusion for people uh, just because, you know, they 
say, hey, I'm paying for multiple things with this bill or, you know, with a debit card. How do I break this out between the accounts? This is how you do it. It's called a split. Any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, definitely head over to the QuickBooks University. I've got a couple videos over there on the top three mistakes that most QuickBooks desktop users make and how to avoid those. So head on over there, qbuniversity.org.